This is the face of someone who wanted to break their PlayStation 5. And that's because how hard going for a Crash Force Platinum Trophy is. And here's an outline for what we'll be doing in the video. Step one is to play the story mode. I'll skip the story and I'll just pop up the trophies for you. Step two is to get miscellaneous trophies, which in this game are really easy. Step three is to get all 38 insane perfect relics, which means you have to break all the boxes without dying in every level. And step four is to get 38 platinum relics, which are time trials. And you need to beat the level under a certain amount of time to get the platinum relic. Step three and four is where the real pain and suffering comes. So we have the game loaded up. Step one is to just play through all the levels normally. So I beat the game. Step two is to clean up miscellaneous trophies. I'm going for this trophy called Fleet of Fleet. I have to play a game of Checkpoint Race. I have to press Bandicoot Battle, two players, then Checkpoint Race. I'll choose this map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like literally just kill myself in the game. So I'm just gonna jump in this pit right here, pass the controller to, I don't even know what her name is to be honest, but I'm gonna kill her too. She's done. I'm about to end her right here bro jump in the same exact pit do you want to restart or skip this checkpoint skip i think i have to press skip oh okay i see okay and then just kill myself again and just continuously do this until i think the level is over with oh there it is fleet of fleet all right next up essentially i have to do the same thing but play crate combo the fastest way to do this is to do the exact same thing that i did before and just kill myself until we get to the end of the game whoa we got a trophy for whoa pull off a triple spin I was just spamming square while I was trying to get this other trophy because I was bored. And I guess we got that. All right, there's the trophy. Settle the score. Find the source of the bump of berries. All right, so I just loaded up this level and I have to jump and spin on these tree branches. And I get a trophy. Simple. Do some target practice. You see that purple bat symbol? I have to destroy that. It's the last one I need for this level. And I'll... It's the last one I need for this level. And I'll get a trophy. Boom, there you go. Make music in an unlikely place. So I just loaded up these levels. These barrels right here, if I hit them or spin them, they create noise. If you heard it, it created some little music and there's like three more that I have to hit throughout the map in order for uh, to get a trophy. I can't even talk, bro. So the next three crates are right here. This is one of them. This is the second one. And that's the third one. Junkyard Jams. Grabbed a bushel of Bumpa. In this level, I have to collect all these berries that look like this. When I jump through this portal, it'll take me on this rail, and I gotta collect every one of these berries that, you know, is along this rail. So there's 18 of them. This is the second one, and I'm just gonna speed this up. There we go. That's 18. Boom! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Let's see the trophy. Whoa, yeah. Make some noise. In this level, I have to hit those golden gongs that are hanging like that. So this is going to be the first one. I don't know if I spin on it or something. Yeah, I just spin it. There's three more. This looks like this is the second one. This is the third one. And it appears that I actually missed one. So that was the fourth one. There's one right here that I have to hit. And there goes the trophy. Hammer it home. Aim and fire. Oh, we got a trophy. Complete any timeline. To help you understand how this works is there are three separate side characters to play as in this game. Each of them has three of their own levels that you can play through and those create their timeline. So all I have to do is complete the three levels for any one of the characters and I get this trophy. We got putting things into perspective. Scare the cat hiding from a party. In this level, you see this dumpster on the right, you just have to spin it. And there it goes. Here, kitty kitty. Defeat an enemy with triple spin. I also have to kill an enemy with the triple spin, so this man right here is about to get destroyed, bro. Oh, I missed. There we go. Show off. Complete a level with pass and play enabled. So I have to play through a level on pass and play mode. And hold on. Of course, I die, bro. But if I pause the game here, pass and play is enabled. It's sort of like this offline multiplayer mode that you can play with like a friend or like a sibling where at each checkpoint it switches control and you just hand over the controller to whoever you're like I, I, it's, it's stupid but i don't know man this is what they got in the game i just have to complete a level using it for a trophy and that's it but here we are at the end of the level i know i didn't just die there right okay we got the trophy no it's my turn 
So this is a boss fight in inverted mode is what it looks like. It looks really weird, I know. Uh, honestly, I hate it, but I have to complete one level in inverted mode, and I also have to complete a boss fight in inverted mode. So those will give me two separate trophies, and then I also have to complete a level as Coco. So if you can't tell, I'm playing as Coco, which is the female character. And once I get all this done, I should unlock three trophies. The thing that sucks is I have to beat every level in this inverted mode, and I hate looking at this. Why is this even a thing? This stuff is stupid. We're at the end of the boss fight right here, as long as I don't die. I almost died right there. Um, so yeah, just have to come up here and spin this dude, and then that should be the end of it. Beat him any which way, which is for beat any boss in inverted mode. Then we get ladies first, which is complete a level as Coco. And it's messing with my head, man, which is beat a level in inverted mode. There are four trophies for different gem colors. Find the hidden blue gem, find the hidden green gem, find the hidden red gem, and find the hidden yellow gem. The first gem I went for was the green one. So there's this garbage can right here and I have to spin that, what? Oh, okay, it was that one that I had to spin. And then you see that remote control came out. So I have to spin the remote control. Okay, there. Out comes like a toy car. So I have to continue to spin it so it can drive itself into the nitro box that you see right there. And then, boom, there's the green gem. So I just collect it and I'll get the trophy. I actually have to finish the level off though. So we're gonna, oh, I, I should have hit the checkpoint. I'm a dummy, it's okay. All right, so this is the end of the level. And let me see my trophy, man. There it is, Emerald Gemerald. All right, so I'm about to unlock the red gem. In order to do this, I have to jump on each platform in this like sequential order. And it's like just this counterclockwise um, order. And once I get to the middle, it'll... Uh... Bro, are you serious? I have to restart now. Oh my gosh. I jumped on a box and it reset the sequence. Okay. All right, bro. All right, bro so stupid man like of course that would happen to me bro it's all good i mean it's only gonna waste like 30 seconds of my life but like come on now all right there we go oh bro, 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 is, is the gem still there do i have to redo it of course i have to redo it bro all right let's do this again man you know what it's all the box's fault if it weren't for the all right bro man bro like this is what happens to me bro is it because I have the cameras on? I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. But I'm not failing this time. This box will not get me again. I'm going to get this gem. There we go. All right, bro. Finally. Now I just have to complete the level. Which, is this the end of the level? I'm not sure. Oh, I just have to do this running sequence. And then I'll be done with the level, I'm pretty sure. So I'll just skip to this. All right, here's the end of the level. And let me get my trophy. Ruby red. So in this level, I will unlock the yellow gem. I just have to jump across uh, this platform here, then make my way over to this platform. Oh, it's right above here. So I have to jump up and grab it. There it is. I got the yellow gem. Now I just have to finish the level. Here's the end of the level and just walk to the crate and I should get my trophy. Topaz pizzazz. Now the thing about this gem, it's not like you just go grab it anywhere. I have to complete this level without breaking any crates. And of course, the exit or the entrance, I guess, into the level is completely blocked off by crates. So uh, I'm gonna try my best. There we go, we got through. So I'm just gonna, you know, speed through this real quick, try to speed run it as fast as possible. So I can't break those checkpoint crates either, I'm assuming. Man, that's tough. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Completing a level without breaking crates is actually hard. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna struggle with this, aren't I? The thing is, if I mess up once, bro, I have to restart the entire level. And like, if I die, mess up, like that's, that's gonna be annoying. So I have to be very, very careful here. Like there's crates right here that I cannot break, bro. If I break a stupid crate, how am I supposed to get through that part without breaking those crates? Mmm, bro! Jump here first. I'm watching a guide, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. Mm. Bro, I can't even get past this first part, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go! Alright, very careful. Let's go, man. All right, don't sell, bro. I can't do no checkpoints. Don't sell, don't sell, don't sell, don't sell. Oh my gosh, bro. I can't, bro, I can't see that rope. Grab the rope, grab the rope. There we go, there we go. Let's go. All right. 
Come on. The objective here is... No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Hold on. Pause. I gotta watch it do a guide. What he did was this. He slid off this platform. Oh, no! Bro! We're back here again. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what do we do next? We do this. Okay, let's go. Let's go, man. All right, got past that part. <laughs> I wish this was the end of the level. Man, how am I supposed to not destroy those crates, though? Okay, this is what we do. You ready? You ready? Okay. Oh, okay, we're good. I thought he was going to destroy a crate. Ooh, I, those tigers. These tigers, man. It, like, because if I spin them off, it's going between, going between. Oh, they didn't break any crates. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. All right, so for this part, we just have to jump across the gap and do that. Ah, perfect, perfect. <laughs> All right, so we've made it back to this point, and I'm not making that same foolish mistake that I made before. Okay, absolutely not. Jump across here. Okay, do not jump on that box. Oh, what's next? Uh, climb up here or do this one? Okay. Oh, I almost fell right there, bro. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta watch the guide. Okay, so he jumps. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Wait, is the spinning over? The spinning, the, the spinning phase is, is over? I think it's over. I think it's over with. Oh my gosh, I think this is close to the end of the level. Don't die! Bro, I got so nervous! I said, bro, I'm down. Alright, we've made it back to this point, and I, bro, this is like the easiest, that's like the easiest part of the entire level, and somehow I die. I gotta watch out for these dragons. These dudes will take me out, bro. Okay? Okay. We're good, we're good. Don't break these crates. I didn't break any crates, right? According to the guide, if I hit this bonus platform right here, this will activate a checkpoint. So... I don't have to restart from the beginning if I mess up. So, I'm just gonna go here and die. Alright, so we're just gonna make our way up this. This is easy since there's no boxes in the way. I don't have to worry about breaking any... Oh my gosh, look at this, bro. No, bro! Well, I got, I got my checkpoint. I got my checkpoint. So, none of that matters to me. Alright, just making our way through here. Uh, just gonna jump up here. Boom. All right, now we're here. So we cannot break this. So I'm assuming I'm gonna jump like that and go like that. Yep. Uh, jump like that. Oh, bro, I sold. Okay, make it across here. We're good. No, bro. All right. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, watch out for that dragon. Uh. We gotta time this perfectly. Okay, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now, right now. There we go, there we go. There we go! Okay, watch out for these boxes. Pause right here. Um. Okay, we're gonna do this. And guys, this is very close to the end of the level, so... Okay, okay, you know what? I had an extra mask, that, that it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good. I, th I think I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. Blue gem, yes! Let's go, man! Let's go, man! Let's go! Let's go, give me that trophy! Sapphire, acquire! Earn half of the clear gems. So there are a total of 228 clear gems throughout the game, consisting of six clear gems per level. These are the requirements for getting a clear gem. Collecting 40% of the Wumpa fruit, collecting 60% of the Wumpa fruit, collecting 80% of the Wumpa fruit, breaking all of the crates in the level, die three times or less, finding the hidden gem in the level. And in case you didn't know, this is what Wumpa fruit looks like. Oh, we got a trophy? Like a rhinestone bandicoot? Earn half of the clear gems. Okay, complete all timelines. After hours of playing, I think I'm finally about to unlock this trophy. Just walk through here, and I think this is the last, yep, the whole picture, this is the last level. Earn any flashback relic. This right here is a flashback level. Once I complete it, no matter what kind of score I get, 
I'll get a trophy. So I'm just gonna go through this. I'll try to get all the crates because you get something. You get a platinum uh, relic if you actually like get all the or get all the crates, right? But I'm not focusing on that right now. I want to just get this done and then um, just get the trophy and then I can go back and you know clean this up if I have to. But let's let's finish this off. Looks like I will be getting the platinum relic, I believe. We just completed the level. This should give us model test subject. Okay. Earn any insanely perfect relic. This is an insane perfect relic. You get this by breaking all the boxes in a level without dying. If you miss one box and you can't go back to it, or if you die, you have to restart the level all the way from the beginning. Oh, we got a trophy. So-called perfectionist. And it was after that trophy that I got into what I thought was the hardest thing that I've ever attempted in my life. The last time I claimed something to be the hardest thing I ever tried in my life was in Crash 1. But this has to take the cake. Getting the insane perfect relic on every level, 38 of them, was the hardest thing I've ever tried to do in my life. I've got some clips of me failing time after time again. And the first level you see was just regular. You know, it was tough, but... You know, it wasn't as hard as what was about to come. This is the video clip from the intro where I got really upset. That's because I was right at the finish line. As you can see, the crate floating in the back. That means you're at the end of the level. And right here was where I completely messed up, fell to my death, and had to restart from the beginning. I beat that other level to get into this level, which was the hardest level I've ever tried to get the perfect relic on, as you can see. You see, bro, I messed up, man. Oh, that was the furthest I've gotten. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm gonna lose balance, I'm gonna lose balance, I'm gonna lose balance, bro. And I kid you not, I spent, I think, four to five hours on this one level alone. Restarting from the beginning, just over and over and over, just dying. Ooh, just losing my mind. I was so close. I was so close. I'll never forget this stupid level in the rest of my life, bro. I promise you that, bro. For as long as I live, bro. And in this clip right here, just look at what happens. I just want you to watch. That is literally the finish right there. If I would have made that jump right there, I would have finally beat this hard part that I struggled on for hours. But then this happened. I did it, 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 I did it. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. It's not the end of the level. I'm watching the guide. If I lose here, I still have to finish off this level. If I miss one box or die, I'd say I have to restart and I've been doing this for hours. I'm not, no, I gotta watch the guide. Oh, I got a smile on my face because I know, I know I have an opportunity of a lifetime right here. I'm gonna be very, 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 very cautious with this. By the way, touching these green boxes will cause an explosion, which will either damage me or kill me if I don't have a mask protecting me. Very slow, very slow. Go to snail's pace. If I miss one of these, it's GG's for me, bro. And I'm gonna be crying probably. I'm taking it as slow as I can take it, bro. I am not, mm -mm. Yep, go even slower if, if I need to. Like, I will do this all day, bro.
Fortunately for me, I was able to make it back to this point in the level. Now, if you're wondering why it looks different, it's because previously in all the other clips that you saw, I was working to do the inverted version of this level, which means everything is in reverse and there's also a filter applied to the level where it just looks visually different. But the catch about this specific world that I was in, because there's levels within a specific world, in this world, every level on inverted mode is faster than the original. So I just switched over to the normal version so it can be easier. Let it cruise, let it cruise, let it cruise. I need a mask, bro. I'm done. Pause the game. Come on. Guys. D don't touch the green. Bro, bro, just... Oh my gosh! Oh, that was so close! That was so close! Bro! Bro! I can backtrack. Bro, that was way too close, man. Bro, that that's not cool game. Bro, my go 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 back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Bro, my my heart is like ra racing, bro. Oh my gosh, man. That's not like you can't do that to me, man. I think this is it, man. I think we've done it. After four, five hours, maybe, I finally got the perfect relic for this level, bruh. Oh my god. Wow, bro. This was another level that I struggled on for hours, and there were plenty other ones, but I didn't want to throw too many of them in the video, but these were like the highlight of my struggles. But right here, in this clip was when I finally completed the level and just just watch my reaction. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, let's go <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. This is the last level that I need the insane perfect relic on. As soon as I grab this gem, I will get the perfect relic. And my perfectionist trophy pops, man. Complete all levels in inverted mode. Got him, let's go. It's my trophy. Backwards and forwards. Earn all inverted gems. Oh, we got a trophy, which I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Earn all inverted gems. I thought I had a lot more to go, but apparently that's it. Earn all of the clear gems. Oh, we got a trophy. Watch the 100% bonus ending. So we got 100% completion. You did it, 100% completion. You've unlocked the bonus ending. Visit the gallery to view. And I think once I just view that, I will get a trophy. So just press this and we get overachiever. Earn all of the platinum flashback relics. All of these objects are called flashback tapes. Each one of them is like a mini level. And in order for me to get a trophy, I have to complete all of these levels while also getting all of the boxes. As you can see, I got the platinum relic on this one for getting all the boxes. And this one is super easy, but I don't know if the other ones are like harder or not because I haven't played them yet. As you can see, I've gotten all the platinum flashback relics except for one. So we're going to go through this level together because I don't think I've shown you guys one of these levels before. They're like these, uh, what is this? I don't want to say 2D because it's not really 2D, but sideways, as you can see, sideways levels like here. I just have to break every box to get the platinum relic and make it to the end. It doesn't matter if I die, which is good because if I had to do this without dying, as you see, I just died right there, bro. I would have been pretty upset. So we're just gonna try to get through this as fast as possible. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Three, four, five. Huh? All right, nice. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna do this seriously. I'm not gonna lie, I'm watching a guide because I'm not about to try to figure. Hmm. All right, let's do this again. I'm not about to try to figure this out on my own because I don't want to be here all day. I just want to save myself the time. Three, four, five. Trigger this, come back down here, trigger this, go down here, alright, yeah, this is exactly what I have to do, alright, cool, alright, let me pause and watch this guide, okay, so we bounce up from here, I have to be careful not to hit that nitro, 
that green crate, it'll explode on me if I do. If you haven't played Crash. Mmm, bro. Oh, this is this is what that game does to me, bro. This is what this game does to me, man. Bro. Alright, cool. We're back here. Alright, okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Boom. Boom. Ah, uh, yeah, that's gonna blow up. We go like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get out of here? Okay, so we have to slide. I have to get all those crates right there. So, I'm gonna. Yeah! Alright, here we are again. I'm gonna try this jump again. Alright. Hopefully, we don't. Three, four, okay. I screwed up. Wait, no, I didn't. Let's go like this, like this. What? What? Three, four, five. Thank you, bruh. Thank you, bruh. That's not what he did in the video, though. I had to do that on my own will, bruh. Come on. Okay, so I have to break these boxes right here. You gotta be very careful because the flame that they spew out can hurt me. So, or not hurt me. It can straight up just kill me. All right, there we go. And then I need to blow up that TNT box. So, I'm gonna just start myself right there blow that up and boom okay have to body slam through here trigger this TNT and then jump right when it's about to blow up if that would be the thing that kills me bro oh I would have been so angry let's see what I gotta do next get that okay we're good we're good we're good okay so I have to cross this this is a checkpoint right here there's a box there, but that's gonna blow up towards the end. That that box with the golden apple or whatever pear, whatever that fruit is, I don't know. All right, we gotta break these boxes right here. Assuming, nice. We gotta do this right there, boom. Break these boxes, uh, pause the guide. <laughs> Body slam right here on that box. And then break this, break this. And then come back here. Make the jump, make the jump! Okay, nice, nice, nice. I have to make that jump now. Okay, so it looks like she's about to fall. Can barely keep her balance there, but go like this. Boom, activate those. Now, these can kill me right here, so I have to be very careful right here. So I'm gonna time this perfectly. Boom, 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 boom. Nope, no, 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 that was too risky. Wait, did I just sell? I think I just sold. I just sold. I have to restart. Not from the beginning, but from the checkpoint. Idiot, bro. Okay. I just missed. I just missed such a simple jump, bruh. Okay. Now we break that. I have to break these three before I activate this. Nice. That's where I messed up before. Okay. So I have to jump here. If I spin, it doesn't bounce me. This right here has an arrow on it. That means it's going to bounce me up if I jump on it. But if I spin, it kind of like cancels it out. So have to check and make sure I have to balance oh oh yeah I just sold okay this is what I was supposed to oh I think I, I think I messed up there I think I messed up wait did I mess up did I mess up no I don't think I did jump back here jump here now I have to slam through those that's the only way to destroy those crates is to slam through them like that okay I have to destroy these okay we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh, I almost died there. That was close. All right, this part is tricky right here. You have to spin, jump. No! Bro, there's no shot, bro. All right, man, we're here again. Can't believe I messed up on such a simple part last time. That's just typical me. All right, man, so I gotta do some crazy stuff. So I had to hit this TNT, and then right before it blows up, have to jump on Ooh! okay we did it right there boom back here okay okay so we body slammed through this and i'm assuming we have to jump over to that tnt it seems like the only viable option okay so this is the last part as long as i don't sell right here on these jumps and it's done oh I almost threw my controller it's done just walk into here 
get my there it is closing the experiment logs thank you man this wasn't such a hard trophy it was a little bit challenging though this one right here is called over overachiever watch the 106 percent bonus ending i won't be able to get this until i complete all the time trials these two trophies earn any time trial relic and earn all of the platinum time trial relics from what i've seen online the platinum time trial relics are the hardest thing in the game and then i have this last trophy right here spend some time surfing the waves this is just an easy trophy i can get like right now if i wanted to but i'm saving it for the end in order to start a time trial just have to grab that watch and now that time pops up and if I break those boxes like you just saw me go back and break that box and these boxes right here it's, it stops the clock for however long it's set on the box so the boxes say like one second two second and the largest is three seconds so it'll stop the um the clock for that many seconds so try to move as fast as possible do some fast movement here and I'm not really trying to get the platinum one right now but I'm more so trying to do is just to get the if I get any score, literally any score right now, it'll give me a trophy. So it doesn't, I don't even need to be fast right now. But obviously being fast would be optimal, right? So see what I can do. I'm just gonna try to speed through this. This is this literally the first level of the game. So a couple people on Reddit were saying that the this first level is like the hardest one to get the platinum relic on. I'm like, really? No way. Like, I, I don't I don't see how that could be possible, but that's what they're saying. So yeah, we'll see, bro. Just try to get through this as fast as possible. Look at that, bro. I'm taking damage and all. Alright, come on. Go, 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 go. Cue the intense music. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get the platinum relic, bro. I'm trying to move fast. We got we have some time. Right here, right here, right here. I, I'm pretty sure there's I seem like a shortcut for this, but I'm not too sure how it works. So I'm just gonna take this the standard way, which is just jumping on these platforms. Ooh, GG. And if you die, you gotta spawn all the way back in the beginning. All right, we're back here again. Not gonna fall this, ooh. Okay, we're not gonna fall this time. We are not going, to Okay, let's see what time I got. Uh, I mean, it says it right there, but let's see what kind of relic this grants me. We should get the trophy, though, faster than a tortoise. Yep. Um, that's, what, that's the only trophy we're going to get. And the next relic I have to complete. Oh, so this is, I got the gold one. So the platinum one I have to complete in 53 seconds and, or 53.97 seconds. How, bruh? I have to cut off that much time? So I just got the first platinum relic on the first level. And it says time to beat 39.27. Apparently, there's these other relics called developer relics or toys for Bob relics where if you get it underneath that time, you get an, an even better relic. Funny man, you think I'm going for that, bro? So I began my journey to get all the platinum relics. I did not need the developer relics to get the platinum trophy. Those are just like, if you want to go above and beyond, you can do that. But that was not needed. This level right here is the one that I struggled the most with when it came to the platinum relics. I was spending hours on this and I was actually considering this to be the hardest thing I ever tried to do in my life. But then I thought back to that other level that I did earlier in the video, and I still think that takes the cake by a little bit. But this was really tough, and also excuse the bad lighting because I didn't have my, my big lights on, uh, the ones that I used for my setup because it was hurting my eyes. But other than that, I was just struggling really, really, really badly on here, and it was just very annoying. Sometimes I would get all the way to the end and just die, and then, as you know, you have to restart, so all the way from the beginning. The funny thing is I actually found out the designer of all these relics and all the time trials. The guy's name is Steven. So I did some digging and I found some dude named Steve. Now, I don't know if these two guys are the same person, but I found a video with a guy named Steve. And so I decided to reach out to this man and give him a piece of my mind. And I continued to struggle on this level until this happened. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I clutched up, I clutched up, I clutched up, finally. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Finally, bro, finally, bro, finally, 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 bro. Bro, did you see how close I was to hitting the lava? Bruh, oh my gosh. 
I'm literally one platinum relic away from getting platinum, the platinum trophy on Crash 4. Oh my gosh. This is the last level that I have to do. I'm gonna show you my, my winning run though. I did it! 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 That's it! That's it! That's it! Faster than sound, baby! All platinum relics! Crash Bandicoot 4, baby! Let's go, man! Let's go, bruh! Let's go, bruh! I'm about to get my platinum trophy, bruh! So we have two trophies remaining, guys. I simply have to go to the gallery, right? And press 100% or 106% bonus ending. And I get over, over achiever. And now I just need one last trophy and I get my platinum. And I saved this one for last on purpose because it's super easy. I just have to load into the first level of the game right here. So we're just slide across here. Load up in right here. So I'm here loading the level in this TV right here. I just have to spin it a few times. It says Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash 3, and then Crash 4. And I get Channel Surfer. And come on! Let's go, Master Marsupial. Oh my gosh, this platinum was so hard. This was so difficult. Subscribe, please, because that was so much effort into this video. And if you want to see another video where I went for a hard platinum, you can press on the screen where I got Hollow Knight.